I'm Anita with 8-Fit Girl, and I am a top-rated seller on the eBay platform. And today's video is all about eBay. So overnight, I had a couple sales. Um, that's one of the beautiful things about eBay is that people shop 24-7. So uh, my store is 8-Fit Girl, and uh, what I wanted to tell you about my store today is that when you do purchase off my store, that eBay has a wonderful system set up where you can donate some of your profits to a charity, to a nonprofit charity. And that is what I do. I support a charity called Family Promise of Jacksonville, and they help homeless families. And uh, with uh, housing, education, uh, jobs, everything, setting them up in a new place of their own, um, you know, many people in the society today, you know, we're all one family and we need to help each other. And this is my way of helping. And when you make a purchase on my eBay store, uh, you'll be helping the community as well. So I'm going to show you what sold while I was sleeping. So just a couple items. But the first one, I was going to keep this for myself. Uh, if it sold, it sold. If it didn't, it didn't. <laughs> but uh, it's a beautiful um, eco red um, puffer jacket. It's a female. Uh, it has a nice little belt here and the elastic in the back. Very cute. Very warm. So that's sold. That's going off to New Jersey. They probably need it in New Jersey. And then I had um, two pair of, of jeans. They actually sold to the same person. So I was very happy about that. Um, it's a pair of really cute seven jeans. Really nice, very nice. Uh, these were, uh, I think they're uh, size seven. And then a pair of True Religion. They're off-white color, little two back pockets. <laughs> very cute very cute now when I I source my items from uh, consignment stores retail stores when I go shopping I go right to the sales rack and then I look through to see if there's anything that will give me a little profit margin if it's a, a dress that's $65 and it's marked down to $8.99 I re look at it if it's nothing you know wrong with it it's still I may have a profit margin there and I will pick it up. So I also do Salvation Army, Goodwill, thrift stores, garage sales, my own closet. I've gotten a lot of stuff out of my own closet. So when I do, um, I bring things home. This is washed, ironed, and starched. And they look as good as they can look, you know, while you're going off. So those are the three, those three things are going out today. And um, while people were shopping on my store, <laughs> I went past Goodwill yesterday and got just a couple things. I got just one little bag, just one bag at the, just a regular Goodwill. Um, if you're in the resale business, as a reseller, you probably know there are Goodwill stores and then there are Goodwill outlets. Now, I had never heard of a Goodwill outlet, <laughs> but... In Jacksonville, they actually have two. They do not have them in every city. And what these outlets are, uh, they're, store, they're clothes that maybe they didn't have room for them in the store or um, they're just overflow of clothes. And when you go to the bins, um, they call it the bins because everything is in big blue bins <laughs> and you just look through them. So I will have a video coming up on um, the bins and because um, I do go maybe once a month and um, everything is by the pound. It's different prices for different cities. Um, in Jacksonville, I believe that it's like um, $1.29. It depends on how many pounds you get. I usually try to get over 20 pounds and that makes it the lowest price, which I think is $1.20. But that's still pretty good. Okay, so, but I went to the regular Goodwill and just want to show you a couple things that I got, I go on Mondays if I do go to the regular Goodwill because they'll have a tag that's 40% off. 
So I got a couple of, um, I always pick up sporting goods. Adidas, Nike, um, NFL gear, baseball gear, you know, because people like that kind of stuff. I do. I wear it all the time. It's comfortable. You don't even have to be an athlete to wear athletic gear. Okay, you probably know that. All right, but this is a couple nice items. Tennessee Titans. Um, this is actually uh, NFL team gear. I will just put that aside for um, September. When September comes around again, when football season starts up again. And then here is a, another Tennessee Titans uh, polo type, and it's a Reebok. This is new. It's never been worn. Uh, very nice. And um, this nice, beautiful Izod shirt. Um, I had one exactly like this before. I sold a couple months ago. Um, very pretty. I struggled with the color because I thought it looked pink, then it looked red, then it looked pink. <laughs> anyway, I may hold it back for a little bit for spring. And then I'm going on vacation to Orlando um, in a few weeks. And so um, I just got, this is an Old Navy, just simple. This is an Old Navy little dress. Um, that'd be easy to wear at the pool or something. And then whenever I go on vacation, I always um, put t-shirts, a lot of, not a lot, but <laughs> t-shirts in my suitcase. Because, you know, when you're uh, in the hotel yeah, in between, you know, going in and out, you want to put on something comfortable. So I always t-shirt and a pair of shorts to lounge around in. This was probably a dollar. You know, they were new. There were about 10 of them there and they were all together. They were new. I only got one. It's like a bunch of t-shirts. <laughs> and then um, I got six items. I spent $19. Um, whatever I go, I always say it's always one Thing in your bag that you're kind of excited about always at least one thing and so um, this thing was the um, the Calvin Klein slippers well shoe sandal very cute uh, it's brand new not worn and so I got those so those six items um, and I spent $19 so that's it's not bad and I'll get the $19 back from the shoe so that's pretty good. That's why you do resale because you can resell the item, make a profit, and at the same time help others. Um, and that is really all I have for today. Um, next week, I'm going to do a video about the bins and the Goodwill, just regular store. That little bag was $19. When I go to the bins, you can't see this bag, but... <laughs> back bins last week okay so this was I spent like $38 I had three of these bags so I've already gone through two of the bags and what I do um, I sort them wash everything um, and if it's something that needs to be um, dry clean I have a steamer dry clean steamer I steam it um, jeans I wash iron starch them so everything is looks good in my store again i invite you to visit my store um it, the link the url is down in my description please leave in your comment uh i am kind of new at my store i um like i said been a member of ebay since 2011 but i really just started selling on my store for the last three four months did pretty good i've done over 225 transactions and um, the more I list the more I sell so it is a great business and um, so like I said if you have any comments suggestions uh, let me know and I hope you guys have a great day keep looking in your closet and keep giving um, that way you can give back